I see my tutees on scheduled and unscheduled time periods. Schedulely, we look after the foundation students predominantly, and I see them every week as a scheduled format, and that sort of eases away towards the latter semester. But then I also see them unschedulely um, when they've got any concerns or queries they want to come and raise with me, or if you know I want to talk to them about certain aspects that I can see from their work or they submitted that I can support them on or direct them towards. It's a pre-year one uh, element of students that have come in um, on the hope of studying sort of a, a, an educational study that will sort of help them transition into year one of, of their education on a degree program mm -hmm. within the school. To support them towards that transition and work out really some of the skill sets that they really need to benefit them based on the journey they've come from, it's really sort of imperament that we felt um, a sort of weekly tutorial system would be of, of real benefit for them so that we can work on a lot of the sort of soft skills as well as boosting confidence and giving them all the support they need towards that transition to year one. A variety of things, I mean we have focused uh, elements where we talk about exam practice or how to do coursework or university regulations but then we also talk about various other elements of, of activity sort of you know, how to go about and enjoy the university lifestyle generally, you know, things to do to, to boost confidence, to make friends, to, to do a variety of different things. They also talk to me about issues they have, of course, whether it be academic or, or non-academic issues, and, and really I see myself in supporting those elements as much as really focusing their academic studies. When I started off, I created a crib sheet of various resources that I keep with me all the time um, for supporting the directions and they would cover all sorts of elements of activity mainly if we talk about the academic it's, it's really about supporting maybe language and writing or written skills as well as maybe calculations or mathematical skills which are kind of paramount for our discipline and directing them towards those support mechanisms that exist but, but also for, for a variety of other things I mean we see a lot of students that need support, or confidence, or well-being, or accommodation, and giving them the right signposting uh, locations to go and gain that support that's needed. Um, and I guess lastly is people who just want um, a bit of um, sort of knowledge and, and basis based on, on diversity. A lot of students will come and see me because they want to see cultural aspects and how they can go and find more about that element and I can signpost them towards either the chaplaincy or various different locations or societies that really can enrich their cultural experience while they're here at the university. We really focus on a lot of soft skills, whether it be writing or examination practice or critical reading, and therefore we set them tasks that they want to focus and guide their elements to that we use in that tutorial as a bit of a workshop to sort of learn those skill sets and in my case then show them the application of those skill sets of how they would be important not only in what they're doing now but, but the bigger picture of how they really relate to the discipline they're moving into. Uh, so yeah, we, we encourage a lot of, of preliminary work before they come to tutorials. We bring them uh, together for the weekly tutorials and, and the one-to-one -one support is happening outside of those sessions. So usually it's, it's bringing them together in those small groups so they can work together and, and make connections within their tutorial group and I think that's really important so you at least have um, you know, a supportive or, or a friendly face within your class or within your arena that you see regularly that you've got a connection with and I, I think that system is important because you know I've noticed occasions where one of my tutees will come and talk to me and say you know this student's having some issues you know can you, can you chat to them, it, would, it really might help, they probably don't want to come and have a chat and that's a nice way to make sure we don't lose anyone who's having issues across the process. I think it spans in a, in a lot of different directions. I guess first and foremost I'm sort of the vehicle of communication between them and anything that they want to learn, grow, develop about that they need support in. And whether that be academic, which is where it predominantly would be, or anything other than academic. So I, I see myself as the pivot that goes between their needs and, and my ability to help and support that from all I understand about the institution. But I also see, see my role as someone who can act to support, mentor, coach, give confidence to my tutees. You know, I, I don't just see myself as 
uh, someone who just takes information and gives them something back, but also someone who, who takes pride in looking at what they're doing and, and saying, well, hold on, you know, you need to buck up or you need to do this or you need to do that if you really want to go to the aspirations you have. So it's, it's also about you know, being honest and being transparent with the duties and saying, well, if these are your aspirations, then you know, let's have a frank discussion about it. And, and you might not like it, but, but these are the honest things that we need to talk about as well as all the things you need for support. So I see it as a dual role in that capacity. Once we've had that conversation, I think it, it's a really useful conversation because the clarity improves on what I need to do and where I need to go from that point forward rather than that mist of confusion. My role is to support elements of activities that they come and see me that I have the best skill sets to support them in. And I, and I don't identify those to be academic predominantly, but also maybe some cultural elements from my background that I can offer. Um, when it comes towards other pastoral care or support, then it's really then finding the right mechanisms to signpost, which, which I like to be upfront and frank about the tutorials. Uh, to the tutees up front and say, you know, really my job is to support you in these particular elements but there are lots of mechanisms that support you in different elements of your practice and uh, they exist in and outside the school and it's really important that when we find or identify an issue or problem that you're having while you're here that we get the best level of support as quickly as possible and that may not be me but it may be somebody else and if you want to talk about that journey or that transition with me of what's happening with that process to just keep me in the loop then I'm more than happy to do that knowing that I can't be the focal point of support at that moment in time. I think the most important thing that I would suggest to new tutors is to know what your support mechanisms are behind you and, and be able to find the way to signpost to them as, as soon as possible. So. In my case, I, I create a crib sheet on an annual basis and make sure that's updated, which has all the different segments of things that maybe a Judy would come and see me about, and, and therefore I know that as soon as they do come and talk to me, and if there's an issue that I can see, that I can actually signpost them forward. So I, I would say to Newtie to have the resources available, because without those resources, you're kind of half able to do the job that you have to do as a new tutor. I would say yes, I think when you do the normal job that you do as an academic which is teaching or doing your research then really it's a variant of the same scenario whereas with dealing with tutees and tutors they all come with different problems, different scenarios, different backgrounds which, which challenge you as a person to, to understand how to best support them or how to best develop it. So, so I guess what I've learned from the process is that Everyone's different, which, which I knew that in any way, but it's, it's not evident until you see someone at a personal level. And most importantly, that, that makes me think, how do I best think about the resources or the ways that I approach people? And that's certainly something that's come back into my pedagogy of the way I teach, because I've certainly thought about ways of being more inclusive in the way that I develop resources or devices towards teaching and educating. So it actually improves my... Uh, teaching contribution. So I think it's made a big difference in the way I do my um, day job, really. Mm.